here we have LB2, the second component of our lunar base. It is waiting for alignment with Moon Shuttle B that just recently arrow braked in the atmosphere. We're going to head up there, exchange components, try to disassemble as much of this rocket as I can, and uh, fly onto the moon.
Here is LB1 hurtling towards the moon with its precious cargo of one first lunar base component and a rover with its lander attached. So now I'm fueling up the rover, or the rover lander rather, so that uh, he'll have some fuel to go down. Um, he really doesn't have the capacity to dock, and he's kind of in the way of me docking the other, um, docking here. So I'm going to just cut him loose. That should be everything he needs. Uh, and cut him loose there. And put his solar panels out so he can get some. Okay, something's wrong here. Antenna. Okay, I guess I just wasn't seeing it. Extend. Extend. Now I got my solar panels out. He should be good with electricity. I don't know if I should remove this docking port. I'm kind of thinking I should. Because he really doesn't have the opportunity to dock once I once he gets down, he's got enough fuel to land twice. Um, not completely go up into orbit, but basically, if the first location is completely off, he's got some fuel that he can hop maybe. I don't I have no idea what the range is but he could probably go maybe a quarter way around the planet or around the moon without child parts oh that's not good okay um well I guess there's nothing I can do about that I guess it really doesn't hurt anything except for a little bit of Delta V. 
That's all it's gonna cost us. Alright, where are we gonna dock this thing? Oh yeah, we need to attach it. We're gonna go ahead and attach it to the... to the lander, the sky crane. Oh. Do we really wanna do that? No, I don't think we wanna do that. What do we want to do? We, oh, we can put it over here. Of course, it's on the other side of the station. Well, how about... Oh, I'm on the wrong thing here. There we go. Let's turn this beast around. So the, the docking port is that I'm going to connect it to the lander is on the side here. And that's just, that is not an easy way to dock. That's the port we want right there. Very good. I want to back away from that before we swing around because you never know the center of gravity could be, you know, up here somewhere and then BAM! You just hit that thing like a baseball bat. So again, before I go down to this, before I bring this first lunar base component down to the surface, we're gonna we're gonna scout a location. For our base, because I want something nice and flat. I need it to be on the border of two very specific biomes, the Midlands and the Lowlands. And finding a place that is just right for that isn't guaranteed. So I got a little, little rover. I'm gonna go poke around. See if we can find an ideal spot. It can look at the exact concentration of the various minerals that I need to make sure that it's got everything in the in the quantities that I need.
Okay, so I've got a day. I've got this um, Lunar Base 2 is inbound um, to the moon one day, 21 hours. So I've got a limited things that I can do, and there's several things that I need to do. I need to bring my little scout down. He's over there. And scout, but I also need more fuel, and I think that takes precedence. So this is down to the point where it's just a little over the amount of fuel that I need to get down to the to get down safely to the surface and refuel so I'm just gonna head down now so that when this guy gets here the process of filling this tank up is has already started um, I'm not quite sure if I have enough fuel here to get um, earth or moon shuttle B back heading back towards the, the earth so I want to get this as done, done as quick as possible. Takes a little priority. So I'm gonna undock this guy, and we're going to land him as close to our ore harvester as we can. There we go. We're on the ground. We did it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why they have to put the light button so close to the gear? Holy smokes! Just want to shut down that engine. Okay. There we go. 1.6 kilometers from. My miner. Let's switch over to that guy. There he is. Got the lights on. Tom Nan refuses to work. Because I forgot to put out his emergency shelter. So he's been sitting in the cab for a week. Good going, Tom Nan. Gosh, you can't do anything yourself. <laughs> Get this beast, get this beast rolling.
Here is my tiny little rover in Lander orbiting the moon. We're about to find a nice place to put our new lunar base. I've scouted out, done a little map recon. I've found a potential spot. Right about here. I'm looking for a spot that's along the equator. And see this big horizontal line there. I want I want my base is ideally gonna straddle the line between the Midlands and the Lowlands. And that's what we have here. And this is a big long line. I can land somewhere around here and then just drive my rover along the line until I find a place that's nice and flat. Um, I want a flat spot because um, in the past I've had stations that, that creep. Every time you load, it'll scooch a little bit downhill and um, I've actually had the whole the whole station um, scooch from one biome to another, and then I had to drag it, <laughs> which is which was interesting. I had to drag the whole thing and back into the other biome. So I I'm not eager to repeat that. So I'm going to try to get as flat as train as possible. So um, my spacecraft's going to go up here. I'm going to need to do a little plane change to get it in line with this thing here. So I think we're gonna do that right about here. That'd be a nice place. Because I want it to fly right down that line. Here comes my little spaceship. I think it's a is it's, it's a tad a bit above the equator. I want it to be along the equator so that because my um, my station is roughly orbiting the equator, although uh, it's a few degrees off. It's a few degrees off, but. But no matter how the seasons go, I need uh, I need access to this thing all all year long. So I don't want it to get. Um, there's two times a year it'll be in a line, and it'll minimize the amount that it's out of sync every other time. Okay, I don't know why this. Those are set to zero. That's probably something I did during the planning stage. This thing has plenty of fuel. I could land. I can land, hop, 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 and hop with this thing. So I'm not. I'm not concerned about this plane change. But apparently, I didn't balance it very well. Okay, let's find it here. Somewhere in between these two lunar seas. It looks really rough there. I guess we'll find out. Seems to pull nose high a little bit, so I want I don't want to I don't want that to throw it off course because I've pretty precisely laid this thing, and I wonder wonder if it's already off course a little bit. 
curses. Well, I can fix that when I'm done. But yeah, we can do a little course correction. I wish this this display had a much uh, more precise impact point. That's kind of moving. See, all of a sudden it just disappears there. South, north. I just want to go a tad, a teensy beansy bit north. I need more lines. Now it says I should go south. <sighs> Alright. We'll just land, see where it takes us, and I can always hop closer to where I want to be. Hoppity hop. Get my suicide burn countdown going. What else do we need? That should be it. Gear, gear would be nice. Okay. We'll wait a little. Wait till we're close to our. Eh, we'll wait till after we start suicide burn to put those solar panels in.
use it and thrust down a little bit. It's that easy. And there we go. Nice soft landing on the Mooney Moon. And go up this way. Oh, I just switched directions on me. This way looks going downhill looks a lot more. Yeah, this spot right here looks pretty good. All right. So uh, let's see how close to the line we got. Oh, that's kind of far away. No, we're right next to it. That is actually quite good. Okay. So let's get this guy out. Mr. Rover. And just in case you think this design is something that you want to copy for your own. <laughs> um, I wouldn't. If you have a choice. There's a lot of issues with this little drone. Especially in real solar system. There's little gaps. There's little places where the, the terrain doesn't quite meet each other, meet each side, and it'll make this thing hop like straight in the air. You can't travel at any decent speed. Um, the r rover thing doesn't work because this, see how it's pointed up to the sky instead of on the horizon? Yeah, that's, well, I don't want to disable steering. And there's things I could have done to alleviate that, but um, I just wanted the smallest rover I could make. And I can just drive it around super duper slow. And here. not use the rover autopilot with it I just like to use the stability enhancement it seems to help a little bit it veers to the right every time I accelerate okay so we're heading west we need to head a little bit south no we're headed Yeah, we're headed west. And we're going way too fast. Need to keep it four to five. We're in the lowlands up here. We need to keep it in the highlands. I think I might as well just go take a straight straight run south till I hit the border. <laughs> run for the button. No, this is not a Taco Bell commercial. Lowlands, lowlands. Okay, we're at 7.6%. I think I'd like to get it down to 1% ideally. 1% would be nice. 
that's farther than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, there's a big flat area over here. Let's just let's just head that way. Impact time. So yeah, between zero and five meters per second seems to be a pretty safe place to be. So if this thing gets put on its back, you're screwed. So we're waiting for this to change from lowlands to high to midlands. And then we're gonna take a right and head directly west. There we go. We found a nice flat spot for our Luna base. Um, 0.7 degrees. That's pretty darn flat. And there's a it's a big, big flat area. This whole area here is is flat, which should give me some pretty good uh, predictions um, in terms of my suicide burn countdown. What happened to my... Did I really go that far? Hmm. So this is my target. And so I'm gonna land that first module somewhere to the east. 